Oh, hey, didn't see you standing there. Corey Feenstra, sales manager, product specialist here at Peninsula Ford Lincoln in Owen Sound on the Sunset Strip. We've got a Bronco Sport. We're going to be talking about goat modes today. Not greatest of all time like Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods. We're talking about go over anything terrain modes. We've got seven of them to cover in five different trim packages. Let's learn. So we've got five different trim packages in the Bronco Sport. We've got base, big bend, and outer banks. You are going to get five available GOAT modes as part of those trim packages. Normal, Eco, Sport Mode, Mud Rut, and Slippery. Then we've got two more trim levels above that. We've got the Badlands, which you see in front of me here. And then we've got the Heritage Limited, which is going to add the Rock Crawl Mode and is going to add the Sand Mode. Goat modes adjust things like steering feel, throttle response, transmission shift points, and braking calibration. Here is where the dial is located on the center stack. As we turn the dial, you can see we get a nice display, so you can see what goat mode you are in. What are the differences between all of the seven goat modes? Well, let's talk about it. Normal mode provides the perfect balance of excitement, comfort, and convenience. Eco mode is the most economical way to get around. This mode maximizes fuel efficiency and improves driving range by decreasing throttle response. Sport mode trades efficiency for performance. This mode increases throttle response, uh, provides a sportier exhaust, steering feel, and quicker shifting. Slippery mode lowers throttle response and optimizes shifting for slippery surfaces. and the throttle response is quicker. More engine power is sent to the rear wheels and differential, giving the driver a better, more fun feel in the sand. Mud and rut mode engages the 4x4 lock to allow drivers to keep going even if one of the tires on the vehicle is unable to obtain traction. And of course we have rock crawl mode. This mode engages both 4x4 lock and rear differential and adjusts throttle and transmission response to send the right amount of torque to each wheel as needed and also displays the front camera while driving. Hey, thanks for sticking around. Again, it's Corey Feenster here at Peninsula Ford and we look forward to earning your business.